eventually it cracked John, but now I have the parts received. Thank you, RC Victory, for the free free shell. Some things to consider are the yo arm, which is this one. Split here. I'm gonna need that and a flex cable and hopefully those two things are the ones I needed and of course maybe an ND filter will replace the glass broken glass here so an ND filter will also do and good thing it didn't separate the motor of the gimbal and this one this one's really delicate it never splits because of the gimbal saver which I installed good thing I have this small piece so check out in the link also that I now I'm gonna install the shell and the gimbal arm the yo gimbal arm and the flex cable let's see if I can make this work okay so I bought the stuff at AliExpress online <coughs> it's $36 for the flex cable and the yo arm and that's the only two things that I really need drive early less than a month even without the tracking or the insurance just pay $36 for those two that I really need and hopefully it works that's the thing if this doesn't work there will be a dispute but let's check it out so these are the two items perfectly sealed there's the flex cable hopefully you can see that it's the yo arm so there's an allen wrench and a small screw that I saw yeah small screw for the yo arm so yeah basically these are the two things for just 36 dollars and i added 100 peso more so peso so it's like two dollars more for the duty set that is for the post so, yeah let's check out working we're replacing the yo arm and the flex gimbal okay so first we're gonna remove the rubber dampers here so you see I have an improvised cable tie here just in case it crashes it doesn't split and I think that also help. So the technique for removing the, the lock dampers is just by pushing it down and then pulling it up so it's not really destroying the locks here. So let's try that, push it down and make it expand so you can just simply pull it off. Otherwise you can just simply uh, destroy it and you have the ones in your spare and pull it up yeah there you go so push it down get the lock removed there Okay, slowly remove the cable underneath the bottom of the gimbal. That's the lock. There you go. So what you do is you're gonna press that or use a tweezer just to press this small thing so it unlocks. So that's it. Press that to unlock. So same goes apply to this cable right here. There's a lock underneath the tweezer. There you go. That was a good job to clean the gimbal. Any unwanted dust, rust, you can put maybe WD-40 on the rust here. And it's Lodi's in Bali, Indonesia. Because of the humid weather. Okay, so first we're gonna remove the four screws, very tiny screws, of the gimbal controller. So So be careful in removing the screw because it's very tiny so I can remain it there and you can put it here so that's a sign that it's part of the screw so don't don't lose the screws you can put a film holder any magnet to organize this okay so we still have this so you're gonna pry it a little like this so pry it until it opens up but don't pull it off because the cable the, the 
The ribbon cable is still attached. You have to slowly remove it. So revealing the two lock for the ribbon. You just have to use a very flat precision screw and then push it up. See if it loosens. Yeah, so there you go. So these two loosen. That's so way you need to push this up. And inserting that will be a chance. So this is the bearing of the yaw, yaw arm. So maybe remove that one as well. Might be okay. So we're gonna open up the yaw arm that I bought in AliExpress. See if it's right fit. Oh, check that out. It's the right arm. And if you check on the camera. Yep, it's aluminum. Yeah, this is it. This is what makes it work. I'm gonna remove the screw, the torque screw here on this side. This is the supplied, also so comes with the your arm, the screw. Uh, yeah, the torque screw. And it's supposed to be tightening this area, which didn't. Just went off so there's also the screw of that one here wait where you go oh there it is that's the very tiny screw that you have to keep so now i have two of them you can keep it for later okay so we're gonna remove the yaw cover here order Okay, so I noticed that the screw in the middle is more thinner than the four screws on the side, on the corners. So be very careful with that and swapping the screw on the middle with the four screws. Oh, the your circuit and again, same procedure with the flat precision screw. Push that. This is not broken, so you have to be careful with that one. That's for the yaw monitor. And then pull this up. Yeah, there you go. Separated the, the board for the yaw. Got to remove. Remove now the three screws here. Okay, so remove the three screws. Very tiny screws. So we'll use a magnet. And they're all the same size. No problem. that and slowly remove that okay so the sticker is still here you have to remove the sticker just to detach it yeah to this Completely removed. So the your arm, the broken your arm. Place with this one. But first, we also need to fix the cable again. There you have it. The two your arms. Which one is the defective one? Boom. Yeah, that's it. First, we very carefully snug in the three screws for it. That. We're gonna prepare ourselves the flex cable here. Like this. Oh, be careful not to cut it. Otherwise, goodbye flex cable. It'll lose. The screws will stick on the tip of your That's one good tip. Magnetize your Phillips screwdrivers or precision screws. This T6 torque screw. And now let's see if it's not fit. Pry it up with a. So after removing the back panel of the camera, you remove the two screws here. So okay, we're gonna remove the two screws here. One, and then underneath that, 
soon. After screwing those two, remove the collar, text the cable. There it is. Once you flip this up, remove the cable slowly. So once you pry up this one, trace the cable. So we're gonna strip this up. Be careful, this is sticky, so it might stick with the cable ones like this one. So remove that. Very gently. Okay, so it's like one wrap. Wrap. So remember that. Remove the tape. That's it. This part is installing this back. Okay, so I just put in the yaw, but that's just for reference, or the camera should be like this. And then we can do this. This is the contact point. This one. Then we're gonna flat it here. Make sure that the line is snug perfectly. So as you can see here. And then press it down. It is ideal to use a cotton swab so not to harm the wire. It doesn't move. Then use the cotton swab to press that. Make sure you clean the contacts first. Make sure you clean where the sticker, double sided sticker would touch. So now is a good time to peel off the double sided sticker here. Once peeled, I'm gonna rest that using a cotton swab. make sure it doesn't you know hamper the gimbal motor okay as for the your arm the, the fixed one you have to insert this side here you can just push it you see so it's push reverse reveal here and then watch the three holes coincide with the holes on the motor screws that you need so let's magnetize them babies and screw it also apply thread lock so for in case of vibration, those screws will not loosen. Yep, so the screws are back in. And so they do. Yep. So make sure both of them are tilted up for the lock to take in place. So we insert that here. That cable will put it forward might get short just press it okay so now it's rested you just tap it a little just to make sure that it's inside it's now locked in place it doesn't let go so okay so it's time to put that Three screws here. So, like I said, five screws, thick screws on the corners, and one not so thick. Mm. Attach 
to remember a while ago the flex cable where we uh, put the contacts here and then we use a double sided sticker over here and then we will wrap this we will wrap allowance of that because you will have to put in the cover later so, see the points of the stickers here this one this will be the one so this should be like that and this contact point will go here so there's a double slated sticker here so we have to stick it up that can we trace this like that stick it here and we use prying tool like this one but don't scratch just make sure the adhesive sticks and then you can press the contacts here and it's for the board yeah. the sticker you can apply it but for me I just don't apply it yet just to see the allowance okay so those two you have to screw one and on the other side two so you can see it cable so you have to yeah. use the stickers this time okay it's also a good time to clean the sticker where we used the previous one so there's uh, a few dirt or debris sticker there that you have to remove or if not you can just simply you know, override it with your existing so once you clean that up, that's the time you can stick it. I think the WD-40 is better if you use the WD-40 to, to clean this kind of surface. It's easy. So we now peel this off. sharp object like metal like screw flat screws or it may damage the flex cable so this one would suffice and then the contact point should go here there's clipping inside yeah it's not, it's 
sorry. Yep, see the white line went inside. So this one is also, there's another way to protect this by using a foam, double sided foam. So it also saved my ribbon here in this part when it crashed. So that's a good way of saving it. So double that this on top. Also suffice. That's a do it yourself protection. Okay, so now we're gonna peel the sticker here on this side. We'll remove that. Okay, now it's like that. So make sure you
just on top, so like that. It's just not all the way where it's like this, it's just just similar like that. It's even. Then that's the time you lock it. Sure. 